So friends, have you seen the latest Republican congressional absurdity involving Representative Scott, pardon me, Perry? Let's talk about it because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Republican Representative Scott Perry, who was involved in the insurrection, as we'll discuss in a minute, is back in Congress. And now he wants to be on a congressional committee that gets to investigate the Department of Justice's criminal investigation of the insurrection. Let me put it another way. Scott Perry wants a committee assignment to perform oversight of the law enforcement agency that is criminally investigating him. I know for anybody with any ethical grounding, it just, it makes you dizzy. Here is the new reporting today from ABC News. Headline, Perry won't recuse himself, that is, he will not remove himself from a committee. Perry won't recuse himself from possible GOP investigation of January 6 probe investigating him. That article begins, Representative Scott Perry would not commit on Sunday to recusing himself from a possible House GOP investigation of the Justice Department's January 6 investigation, even though federal investigators have looked at his role in the larger effort leading up to the insurrection and previously seized his cell phone. Perry is quoted as saying, why should I be limited? Why should anybody be limited just because someone has made an accusation? Everybody in America is innocent until proven otherwise. Perry told ABC's anchor, George Stephanopoulos, quote, we're going to investigate. We're going to need to make sure that these agencies aren't running amok and aren't out of control, which clearly they are, said Perry, the leader of the hard right Freedom Caucus. And friend Scott Perry helpfully added, I get accused of all kinds of things every single day day. Well, you know what, sport? The reason you're getting accused of things is it looks like you've committed crime. Because lest we forget what has been reported about Scott Perry, the Washington Post, FBI takes Representative Scott Perry's phone as part of fake elector investigation. The Pennsylvania Republican is a Trump ally who played a key role in promoting the former president's false claims of election fraud. Federal agents seized the cell phone of Representative Scott Perry, executing a court-authorized search warrant as part of a criminal probe into efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. And friends, who could forget this? From Politico, Scott Perry sought pardon for role in trying to overturn 2020 election results. So friends, just a, a quick recap. First of all, a federal judge found probable cause that there was evidence of crime in Scott Perry's phone and issued a search and seizure warrant so the FBI could seize that phone, search it and recover that evidence of crime. And then Scott Perry asked Donald Trump for a pardon for his January 6th related crimes. And the Supreme Court has said a pardon carries with it an imputation of guilt. And Scott Perry wanted to get away with his crimes. So he requested a pardon. Friends, is it any surprise at all that Scott Perry shared with us today on ABC News that I get accused of all kinds of things every single day? Yeah, accused by the FBI, as found by a federal judge. And then you accused yourself 
by asking for a pardon, showing your consciousness of guilt, showing an awareness that you committed crimes and you wanted to get away with them. So now, friends, we're hearing Scott Pardon Me Perry singing the same tune that we've heard from other corrupt politicians and high government officials. We're going to investigate the investigators that are investigating the crimes we committed. Boy, this is no way to run a Congress or a country. So DOJ, now would be a really good time to indict the criminal politicians for whom you have probable cause, the standard to arrest and indict, and you have probable cause. Yeah, now would be a really good time to arrest the ruling class criminals. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and we will be back at it fighting for justice tomorrow.